Albert, unlike last year, you guys have already clinched your spot in the playoffs. How good does it feel to not have to, I mean, last year you guys didn't even get to play on decision day, but just not to have to rely on other teams' results to know whether you're in or out? Yeah, it, uh, it feels good, I'm not going to lie. Um, although we will look at the other results because maybe possibly with a win we could uh, host a game in the playoffs, which would be a... A huge advantage, I think, to us. Um, so there'll be some looking over the shoulder to see how the LA Galaxy play and the uh, Minnesota Seattle game. But first of all, we have to take care of our game and then we can look at the other results. And as you mentioned, there's a good chance you will host a playoff game if you guys win, but there are a ton of scenarios out there, even if you don't, if other results go the way that benefit RSL, you guys will still have a home game. When you look at the record you guys have at home, I think it's the second best behind LAFC with the wins at home. How much more important is it for you guys to try, since it's a one winner go home playoff format this year, to try and lock down the home home advantage? Yeah, it is It is huge. I feel like, uh, especially when we play at home, I don't think teams want to come play here. As you said, the record speaks for itself. Uh, it's pretty good here at home. And we know we're a better team at home than away. On the other side, if we do get a if we do get in playoffs and we have to play away, um, we can use this game in Vancouver as a playoff game. So we have to treat it as against, uh, it's a playoff game and we have to go there and try and get a result, whether it's a point or three. What do you expect from Vancouver? Obviously, they, they don't have anything to play for in theory. Um, as a team, individually, they do. Do you expect them to not be reckless, but take more chances, take more risks, because really what do they have to lose if a player makes a run or takes a shot from distance, those type of things? Yeah, I mean, they'll play freely. Sometimes when you play with no pressure, you're, you're better. You know you know what uh, pressure can do to players. You know under pressure, uh, you wouldn't do certain kind of things uh, in a game than when you don't have pressure. And they don't have pressure, they didn't have pressure in, uh, in LA and they, they managed to, to win that game. Um, we saw Houston out here against us that didn't have any pressure and played played uh, one of the best footballs we've seen someone play at the riot, especially the first half. So, you know, that sometimes you can use that to your advantage when there's no pressure and uh, they'll be all looking forward to the next season. You know, they'll all try and play well uh, in front of the coach and uh, I'm sure they'll do their best, although they can't get in playoffs. Does that unpredictability from an opponent make them tough to prepare for? Yeah, in some ways, but we've played them enough and we've seen the footage of how they play and... Uh, you know, we know what kind of rotations they can make in a squad, but it's not a team that would come out with 11 different players just because it's the last last game of the season. And it's the last home game of the season. I'm sure they'll have something to prove to their fans when they didn't get in the playoffs. They'll they'll try and end on a, on a win as well. So it will be a tough game. You guys played Vancouver back week two of the season. When you just think to all that you guys have put in, the work, the improvements you guys have made. Do you feel that you're a stronger team at this point in the season going up against this Vancouver side? I mean, it's hard to say who's a stronger team. When you look at a table, yeah, we're in fifth and we can't finish the regular season any lower. So over the course of the season, we have done well. Um, but, you know, just, just their last game and the fact they won 4-3 in L.A. Uh, proves that they have quality. And, you know, maybe with uh, three or four different results uh, halfway through a season, they could have uh, 10 points more and be in a different position. So I don't want to say who is the better team, but uh, we are preparing for a, for a tough game, which really like it's a playoff game. Mm. That night, right after the regular season finale, you head off to the Slovakian national team. How do you kind of mentally compartmentalize? Is it that you take care of this game and then you can start focusing on Slovakia? And how do you just manage the travel knowing that you have the last game of the season, Slovakia, and then you're back for the playoffs. Just how do you manage yourself? Yeah, well, every game that I play from now on is is for something, and there isn't a there isn't a game that you can take lightly. Um, same as the Vancouver game, you know, we want the home game, so we'll go there and try and get points. Then the national team game against Wales, you know, it's one if we win, we'll be almost at the Euros will almost qualify and then I'll come back and it'll be a playoff game. So that's another one. So I'm looking forward to these games because uh, me personally, I prefer games where something's on the line than when you just play for nothing.